Hey you guys and welcome to my January wrap up video hopefully. My voice sounds a little bit better in this video because I took a break between the spotlight video. I went to go eat, got me some um, cough drops, holes, ones and not, and not the other ones that I've been using because you know those don't really work but they taste better. So <clears throat> hopefully I sound better at this moment and I don't run out of breath. Okay so I read six books last month. Yes, a miracle between all the hangouts I was doing. Like, seriously, I have a new addiction. What has a webcam done to me? I don't know. But <laughs> let's start off with the first book that I read um, last month, and it was for YT Book Club, and it was The Last Dragon Slayer by Jasper Ford. And I currently do not have this book to show you because I have no idea where the book is. Like, no idea. Like, I remember rearranging my shelves, but I have no idea where I put it in my new shelf scheme. <laughs> and I don't know why. I don't know where. Like, seriously, I think I lost the book. Like, how sad is that? <laughs> like, seriously, I'm not sure. I don't think anyone borrowed it either. So, like, no. No. So, no idea where the book is, but it's a good book. It was an okay book. Like, I went really back and forth on what to give this book, because on one hand, it started off really, really slow, and it wasn't until, like, page 160 that it even started to get, like, that much more interesting to me, and it's only, like, a 300, less than 300 pages, I believe, book. I would know for sure if I had the book with me, but, <clears throat> you know. So, like, it follows, I think it's pretty much clear by The Last Dragon Slayer what's gonna happen in this book, and it was interesting, but, like, so I gave like a 4 out of 5 and like a 6 out of 10, I believe. Either a 6 or a 7, depending on how I'm feeling. Probably like a 6, because I like it. I'm not sure when the sequel's coming out, but it's probably not something I'm going to get right away, but it might be something I pick up later if I see it. Because I liked it. I like to see where it's going, and I would like to see what happens to some of the characters that I, that I grew to really like a lot. So we'll see. We'll see. Um... It had a really great character development a little bit because you got to follow the characters for a long time, which probably took a while. Probably part of the slowness, but it was after a while. I was like, get a jump start on it, okay? Probably like this wrap-up is going. So I'm going to move on from that book that I lost. Okay, so the next book that I read that month, I was looking at my phone so I could go in order, was I Wrote This For You by Please Find This. And this was a book I got on my Kindle. Well, technically my phone since I don't have my Kindle right at this moment. And it was like $5 for like the Kindle and it was like $25 for like a paperback. And I was like, <laughs> no. But I really got interested in this book because, um, yeah, like I love the like the synopsis to it. But anyway, it's like this kind of poetry book. Like it has pictures. Like this guy obviously took these pictures and wrote these poems to said pictures about what he felt and stuff. And it was really, really interesting and good. And it was like some were really, really huge hits and some were really huge losses. So some I really loved, some I didn't, some I just went, I don't, I don't get it. Some I went, I got it, but I don't like it. <laughs> but you know, so my suggestion to you, if you found this book, if you have been wanting to read this book, just download the sample on the Kindle or whatever. Read a couple of the past the sample and see if you like it or not. And if you like it, that's basically how the book's going to go. So get it. If not, then don't. So the next book that I got was Red. <laughs> was Tell the World by Teen Poems from Writer's Court. And it was forwarded by Sherman Alexi. And it was like, it might be short, but there's a lot of poems in here. Another poet of the book. Another hit or miss for me. And I gave this one a 4 out of 5. And a 7 out of 10. It was really good. And, it was, and I like the fact that they told you... Like, how, what, where they were, and, like, how their names, like, and, like, how old they were, because this is, like, modern one, so, like, you know. I thought it was really interesting to see, like, how, what a 17-year-old thought of it, or, like, a 12, 13-year-old, how they, how they kind of view the world through poetry. It was really interesting. And so, the next book that I read was, just pick them up, Surrender by Sonia Hartnett, which I loved. Of course, my baby book. Um, I read this book a while ago, like a long time ago. I, I just like to point out that I'm sick and sometimes brain ain't always here. But like I read this like when it, probably when it first came back, back in high school. And I really loved it and enjoyed it. And so I picked it up again and I was really glad to see that I still really liked it and enjoyed it. And I gave it 
five out of five stars and a nine out of ten i believe it's a psychological thriller and i haven't read a lot of these before uh a lot since like i haven't read a lot lately is what i'm trying to say and also it's um it's a standalone so that was like a great feeling because like the poetry books of course are like standalone but there's like a million poems so like each poem is kind of like its own story but like like i love this and it follows this boy gabriel who is looking back over the last 20 years of his life as he lays there dying probably like a downer for some of you <laughs> but like it was a really good book and like to see it alternates chapters between gabriel's perspective and his friend Finnegan and like they had like a friendship childhood you know what I'm saying and we kind of see them as boys to like where they are now and you know the things that happen that kind of rocked this town um and I really like it and enjoyed it and I may I'm gonna try to read the first two the first two chapters uh, for Gabriel's side and Finnegan's side so that way if you're like interested in this book that way you can see if you'll like it and how it's gonna go hopefully my voice will be up to it so there we go because i really loved this book so yeah nine out of ten five out of five stars and down for the last book i read is nobody by jennifer lynn barnes and this came out recently came out on january 22nd i believe and it felt i was really excited for this book like seriously like when it came in the mail it came with the other book the archive too so i was just like had both books i was like what and so I gave this book a 8 out of 10, I believe, and a 5 out of 5 stars because it was really good and I really enjoyed it. I had one or two problems with it because I just had, like, this feeling of, like, something was missing. But overall, I really, like, enjoyed this book. Like, I love the characters, Nyx and Claire. I really liked them and they, they were believable <laughs> in their stories, I guess you could say, because of how, like, their environment kind of shaped in to be what they want to be but like anyway Nyx is like a nobody and like a nobody is someone who's kind of practically invisible to people around him so like he moves through a crowd and no one sees him even though he's like there and like so he makes like the perfect assassin and he is given orders to clear Claire and as they said in this line here the two are caught up in a conspiracy of murder cover-ups and betrayal and that sounds like really good and I really enjoyed it <clears throat> just uh, and, and it's also standalone, so I was really excited for that because I'm like, great, something that's not a part of a series, like, seriously. And I thought it wrapped up wonderfully, and I really enjoyed how she, like, put it together. And yet, she did say she probably wouldn't write a sequel, but that they would be, like, a companion, something set in, like, the same world. So that would be interesting because, uh, like, their story's over, but it'd be interesting to see what happens into the world at large. And if you read it, you'll kind of get what I'm getting at. But yeah, it was a really good book. <laughs> and pick it up if you are interested. And so that was it. That is what I read in January. I kind of had a good first month if I do say so myself. Besides the Google Hangouts where I was in most of the time and like my reading. What? So hopefully this month I will read more. I'm currently like four behind in my reading challenge of, 50, of 100 books. Because originally I had it at 50. But even the non-readers in my life are just going, Keisha, 50? Seriously? <laughs> so I'll put it back to 100 people. I'll put back my reading goal to 100. Now I'm four behind. Sadness. I got distracted by Hangouts. Like, I'm so distracted. I haven't even really watched people's videos. That's how distracting Google Hangout is. <laughs> like, seriously. So I need to catch up on all of that and get control of my Hangout habit now. Gotta, gotta get control of that. Um, so tell me you guys, what, how many books did you guys read this month? Did, what are your goals? Are you on track? I would love to know. Let me know all your thoughts in the comments below and I will see you guys later. Bye.